You ever be stuck between a rock and a hard place when panhandlers come to you and ask you for money, either because they're, you know, aggressive, they kind of seem like they might use it for something else? I always struggle with that. And I know some people say if a person asks, just give them your extra change or your dollars. But I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I just think it's real sketchy and some people use it as a front to get what they want. So I don't always give money, but sometimes I do. But it's crazy because this um, past week, I seen a young guy, me and my mother, we were eating breakfast together. We seen a young guy and he kind of looked like disheveled and, you know, not put together. He looked like he was struggling. But he walked past us and he didn't say anything. And that was at a breakfast spot, like a little bit away from our house. So we had breakfast. We noticed the guy because his appearance and he walked past us, didn't ask for money, anything. So now it comes down to the afternoon. Me and my mother were going out to get lunch now because um, we live in Suffolk County and the strong winds had knocked out our power. But thank God we was able to find a generator at Home Depot. So we're going for lunch and I drop off an envelope to the mail and I see the same young boy. So I'm parked in the car with my mother and we see him walk to the garbage can. And this is near like eateries. We see him walk to the garbage can and you know, like the white styrofoam small plates for food. He picks it out of the garbage can, opens it, sniffs it, lifts it upside and dumps the food, whatever leftovers were in his mouth. <clears throat> now, I told my mother, I said, Mommy, isn't that the same boy that walked past us earlier and he didn't ask for any money or ask us for any food? She said, yeah. I said, he's really going through something. Like, he literally just went in the garbage can and ate food from whoever. So, I drove up to him and I gave him some cash. I said, excuse me, sir, how you doing? Well, he was a young guy. He, I don't know. He had to be about 20 something, but it seemed like he had like some disability, but he was so happy when I handed him the cash. And the thing that stuck out to me was he was obviously hungry and he saw us that morning and he didn't even panhandle. And then we saw him again in the afternoon going to get food out the garbage can. So it's like God had me see him like for the second time in the day, because I'm not going to lie. I do not give my money to everybody who asks or panhandles because I've seen some people straight go by alcohol. I see they use it as clockwork. And I know some people think like, you know what? Don't worry about what they do with the money. You more fortunate. But I see that money can go to people who really need it or who will use it for different things. Just like when you give to charity, you want it to go to a specific charity. If I'm going to give somebody my money, I want it to go to something specific and positive. So I don't know. I just every time I see him. I think he lives in Suffolk County somewhere. Hopefully he has somewhere to live. I don't know. Even when me and my mother went up to him, he kind of had a body odor. So I think he might really be homeless. I'm not even sure of like shelters and stuff in Suffolk County, but I'm going to start looking into that. But um, every time I see him, I'm just going to give him money because I know at the end of the day, he's real with his situation. And it's just crazy that he saw me and my mother eating food and he didn't even ask us for the food and he didn't even panhandle because I had one guy he was so aggressive at the gas station I was literally getting gas to fill up the um tank um well the canister so I could fill up the generator and I'm literally reading the you know canister box and the guy is standing outside my car literally waiting for me to get out my car then he's smoking a cigarette near the pumps so while I'm in my car, like totally ignoring him and trying to read the directions for this canister that has some type of lock on it, this other guy's like, man, yo, you can't be smoking cigarettes near the pump. Like you're trying to blow all of us up. But the thing is, he was being so aggressive. Like I understand some people, you have to be vocal. You might be desperate or some of them are on habits, but you can't be aggressive with people. So that just really stuck out because that boy was obviously hungry and he was not aggressive at all. And he didn't even ask my mother and I for money earlier. So I don't know. That was just crazy. 
I, I was so th I'm thankful every day that I have my meals, but it's sad to say when you're extra thankful, when you see how some people are really living. And he was like a young guy. He seemed like he had a little mental capabilities, but I don't know, but it was just crazy. So always count your blessings because you never know what somebody else is going through. And still give to people as you please, use some sense. But sometimes people are really going through things and I really realize that because I'm not going to lie. I'm one of those people when people panhandle, I'm like, what are they going to use the money for? What are they going to do with it? But God just showed me like, you know, stop scrutinizing it so much. And even if it's cash, it's not going to break your pockets. So I'm getting better with that. I'm not going to lie. But everyone have a blessed day. Bye bye.